Well, hello there, YouTube. My third trolling video of the day. Uh, I'm not going to talk about furries or emos or weeaboos or anyone like that. I'm going to talk about juggalos. Okay, now what is a juggalo, you ask? That is assuming you don't know already. A juggalo is a fan of the rap group Insane Clown Posse. Insane Clown Posse is very interesting because they, they claim to be for God and everything, but their lyrics are always about cutting off people's heads and tearing off limbs, shit like that. You know, it, it, what, a, what a great way to be for God. You know, I, it, it's just like, just like in the Middle Ages. I, that, that's, that's the way Insane Clown Posse's lyrics are. I, it's just hilarious. Now, recently, uh, Insane Clown Posse and Juggalos have been in the news because uh, some Juggalo mommy who was doing uh, was doing all kinds of drugs, her baby was born dead or, or died shortly after birth. I, I don't remember, but she her, her baby died anyway, and she blamed the hospital. Now. The hospital had to do something. It couldn't have been all this Xanax that this uh, fat bitch juggalo was taking. No, absolutely not. Not all the drinking and drugging. That that won't have any effect on a developing fetus, according to this woman. And in some, she was calling up some radio show and bitching about it. And it's so funny. What's really funny is this woman was so fat that she wasn't aware she was pregnant for six months. She was that fat. She thought, oh, this is just fat, and then... I don't know. So, anyway, it's pretty clear that being a juggalo is basically a form of mental illness. That, that's all there is to it. Being a juggalo is a sign that uh, you need therapy. And how does a, how does a juggalo start? Well, Basically, it's bad parenting. That's how juggalos are created. The, the parents don't discipline them. They don't love them enough to say, Hey, kid, you're doing wrong. And when, when, when a juggalo baby, or a soon-to-be juggalo, is a baby, for example, the mom will be watching the kid. The kid will walk up and you know take a handful of his own crap and like smear it on the wall. That's what the... A, baby will do. Babies will do that anyway. What's different is sane parents will look at that baby and say, don't you do that. You know, they'll, they'll give the baby some discipline. You know, they, they might give the baby a little swat on the rear. Juggalos don't get that. The mom sits there and just watches in a drugged out stupor while the kid you know, wipes crap on the wall. And then when dad comes in and and says, hey, what the hell's going on here? You know, and it makes a move to discipline the child. The mommy says, hey, don't you hurt my precious little baby. He's just expressing himself artistically. So it's a lack of discipline. That's what creates juggalos. And it starts very, very early. But what if you find yourself the parent of a teenage juggalo? You know, and you think that this is probably not something that's desirable. Well, I'm here to help. Some things you can do, you can start... First thing, you know, take away their ICP records. Their... I guess people don't use records anymore. I'm really dating myself here. Take away their compact discs of Insane Clown Posse and, you know, throw them in the trash. You know, have a little bonfire out in the backyard. You know, just throw those records out there and pour some gasoline on and it'll be over with in no time. So that's, that's the first thing you need to do right there to end this mental illness called being a juggalo. Second thing you need to do is take away privileges. You need to ground them. Uh, take away. Don't let them have any MTV for a long time. Don't let them have any internet. No, all, that sort of thing. Now, that can work, but what if that isn't enough? What if they're still being a juggalo? What if they're still you know, walking around going, <laughs> Fuck you! What if they're doing that? You know, what if they're still uh, washing their butt cracks with Fago Soda? 
you know, what, what if they're still uh, picking their nose and using it to uh, braid their hair with? What do you do then? Well, I've got some tools here that'll help. Hold on, let me find those. Okay, this is the first thing you should try. This is the first tool you should use. This is, this is a belt. And what do you do? You use this to beat the Juggalo with. You know, I, this is a really, makes it, that's an intimidating little sound there. You know, you just, you know, whip them. Whip them with the belt uh, until they start crying. Then you know that it's probably time to lay up. Well, then you might want to hit them a little more. You know, just to, just to show that you're serious. And the second thing that you can use, that's really good, I, nunchucks. I mean, these are great for hitting a juggalo on the back of the shins with. I mean, parents, I know that technically nunchucks aren't legal, but you should go out and get a pair if you have a juggalo. I mean, you know, you just kind of wait by the back door until they come in from school and just right on the shins. They'll double right over, go, ah, what'd you do that for? You can say, because you're a little fucking juggalo, kid. Now go and do your homework. And the belt and the nunchucks might still not be enough. So there is one final tool that you should try. Now this, let me get it in here. This is a steel-toed work boot. I this is, you know, that is a great tool. I what you use the steel-toed work boot for? You put it on both of them, and when they're being juggalos and they're being stupid, you use it to kick their little ass with. Now, I I'm talking seriously, seriously, kick them in the ass until they're crying, until they're whining like little bitches, and, you know, that should hopefully, hopefully, cure them of being a juggalo after a while. And if it doesn't, well, I'm sorry, if that doesn't cure them of being a juggalo, then there's no hope, the mental illness will continue forever, and most likely your kid will go to jail. Hopefully you've got some other kids that you know, haven't become juggalos yet, you can maybe have a fresh start with them, not make the same mistakes that you did on the other kid. And, no, that's just basically the way it is. You know, you, discipline will prevent juggalos from taking root in society. That's all that's needed. So, that's all I have to say about juggalos for now. I hope you enjoyed this message. I hope you took something away with it that you can use if you're a parent. And this message has been brought to you by the Fried Chicken Trolling Crew.